Alright, what's up guys, NDN here. Now, I'm going to be doing my key bindings guide. I've been trying to do this for a while now. Uh, crap. Alright, sorry about that. My mic just kind of fell. Okay. Now, I use the, I use the add-on called Bartender, so my bars are kind of like in random places and messed up, so... But I'll be going along and actually saying out like where each of my... Uh, like I guess abilities are and stuff. Now this key uh, guide is going to be based purely on uh, if you're using a Razor Naga or not because if you're not using a Razor Naga this probably won't apply to you. I mean unless you want to be using uh, the numpad which I something I used to do a long time ago which is why my all my key bindings are actually on my Razor Naga. But uh, here I go. I'll start off with the enhanced point of view first. Uh, my storm, my number one on my numpad is going to be storm strike. My control one is going to be, and sh my control one and shift one are going to be my health stone. My two is frost shock. My control two is earth shock. My shift two is flame shock. So I have all my shocks basically bounded to my two, depending on what I need. And it's been a while, so I remember e all of them pretty easily now. I almost, or I guess I never confuse them. And then my three is my lava lash. My control three is my cap totem. And then for me personally, I've been, I've gotten used to this keybind so now, like so much now that my shift three is my mount. So it's just it's been there forever now. And then my four is my unleash elements. My control four is my earth grab totem or earth bind totem, depending on what you use. And my shift four is my speed boost. And I like to keep my speed boost and my Spear Walker's Grace and Healing Surge together and close by together. So my five is my healing surge. And my control five is my Spear Walker's Grace. So I can just press control five and then spam healing surges. So it's just something nice. And then I'm already oom. Okay, and then I guess uh, while I'm talking about casting the heal off, I gotta mention that my shift space bar is my stop casting keybind. Because so uh, most people like I mean you're gonna have space at jump. I mean, almost everyone has space at, as their jump. So I just figured, like, shift uh, space bar is a really easy keybind to press. So I just press shift space and it stops casting. And as an Ellie Shaman, you're going to know, or as any caster, honestly, like, juking is a really important thing. So there you have it. That's my stop casting Mac uh, keybinding. All right, now for my hex, I use uh, number six. And then my control six is my focus hex or my shift six is my focus hex and then I have my NS bound to alt six now this just makes my life easier because I can just press alt six and then shift to control or shift and press six to focus hex or just press regular six to hex so it's just something I've really gotten used to now so that's how I do my hexes and then my seven is my steering totem and my control seven is my fire early or shift seven I'm just kidding. Shift seven, shift 7 is my zoom in. Which is, <laughs> I guess I don't recommend that, but I'm um, just, I always press control 7 anyways. And then my wind shear is my 8. Uh, and my shift 8 and control 8 are my focus wind shear. And my 9 is my LE blast. And control 9 is lightning bolt or shift 9. And then uh, I have my symbiosis at 10, or I guess you can see over here it says 0, but technically it's 10 on the Razor Naga. And control 0 or 10 would be focus symbiosis. So, which symbiosis for us is solar beam. So, that would be just, that's really important to actually have a focus solar beam macro too. And then I have my 11 as my burst. So, it's just, or my one shot, whatever, ascendance. And then my 12, uh, which, uh, and then also I guess, um, my control 11 or shift 11 is my bind elemental which is another keybind I don't usually use that often because control uh, 11 and 12 are kind of hard keybinds for me to actually press so these are keybindings I don't keep like if it's like really important stuff I don't usually keep it there and I've gotten used to it lately but it took me a while so uh, my bind elemental is my control 11 and then my on use trinket is control 12 it's another thing like on use trinket by itself I don't usually need to use it as often but if I do it's there so that's basically my num uh, Razor Naga keybinds on my, on the side buttons 
Now there's also two more buttons in the Razer Naga, which some people have them on the top left. Uh, uh, there's two buttons on the top left, or they're right under your scroll bar in the middle. So, but there's two buttons. For me, my top button is going to be Magma Totem, and my bottom is going to be Fire Nova. So, uh, that way, um, just depending on whatever you need. And I don't bind to Atomic Recall unless I'm using the Teutonic Restoration Talent because you never need to actually Teutonic Recall ever so unless you're doing PvE stuff then you want to like take away totems so you don't pull bosses or something like that but we're talking about PvE terms only so and then uh, now the, uh, something the last part on my mouse that I use is my uh, scroller so my scroll up is my tremor totem my scroll down is my grounding totem uh, these are really nice keybinds for me. Like I love these keybinds because, I mean, first of all, they all have stop casting in them. So if I'm casting and then I scroll, I had an S up. Okay, I stop. I start casting. And I just spam scroll down. It's gonna, it's gonna stop the cast while I'm, and I can just spam the scroll, and it's really easy. So I can just, uh, it'll stop the cast and then put down the totem. And let's say you have tremor totem, and you're actually using the macro to remove the tremor totem again. You can just spam up or spam scroll up and oh basically stop casting put down a tremor totem and then really uh, take it away again so it's a short cooldown again so scroll up and down are really nice keybinds for me for tremor and ground and then what I use for as mo uh, if you've seen my other guides for my healing or just my macros and stuff I use uh, slash cast at my healer my healing surge and then my, uh, my other partner healing surge and same thing with my cleanse so I have my shift scroll up and shift scroll down to healing surge my uh, healer and my partner, or my DPS partner, and then my sc control scroll up and down to cleanse them. So this is something that I feel like is extremely easy, like keybinds to actually hit at, and it's just and these are some these are things that you actually have to do like often. So I, it's just having easy keybinds for them is really nice. And then uh, we get into my keyboard key bindings. Now, what I press on the keyboard. Now, the one, two, three on my keyboard is going to be arena one, two, three target macros. So that's how I target my all my three arena frames. And then my shift one, two, three on my keyboard is going to be my focus arena frames. So that's how I, that's that's basically my targeting macros right there. And then my four on my keyboard is my healing stream. And if I'm ever using Stone Bulwark Totem, then my Shift 4 is my Stone Bulwark Totem. Otherwise, I have my Mini Burst, uh, which I don't usually use anymore nowadays. Like, just only Stormlash Totem with uh, Blood Fury. Yeah, because I have a new trinket now, so, which I haven't macroed in with the, my Mini Burst yet, so that's why I didn't pop. But, uh, usually my Shift 4 is my Stone Bulwark Totem on my keyboard. Healing Stream is my 4. And then uh, we go down to, and then that's as far as I go from one, two, three, four. I don't use five, six like other people do. I just, it's not as comfortable for me. And so basically, what I do now for movement, I use QWE for strafe left, right, and going forward. And I have S bound to backpedal, which is a super important keybind. So you guys may know it. But, um,. Uh, oh, I guess uh, so. That's it for my movement keybinds, and then I use A for lightning shield, D for healing tide. Now I use Shift A for heroism, just because uh, Shift A and Control A, I almost never like. I hate those keybinds. I never press them, but A is fine. Like just but Shift A, I really hate. So I have a bound to heroism, so something I almost never use. And then Shift D is my Earth Elemental Totem. And then my F is my Ghost Wolf. My Control F is my Feral Spirits. And then my Shift F is my Healing Rain. And then my G is my Purge. And Control G is my Focus Purge. And I guess as a Hash Shaman, it's uh, important that you have purge and focus purge because when you're focus purging like you're still doing damage to your current target which I'll get to why it's not as important as Ellie uh, once I show you how Ellie works out 
and R is my Shalom Rustic Rage, or, and if I'm using pra, uh, Primal Elemental, then uh, my Earth Ellie also reinforces me as well when I press Shalom Rustic Rage at the same time. And then um, my Shift R is my Totemic Projection, which I said, depending on my talent, it could either be uh, Totemic Recall or Call of the Elements, depending on which one I'm using. And I guess uh, that's pretty much it for my keybindings right there. Yeah, I guess that about does it for my keybinds. And everything else you see is the stuff that I don't need in arenas, that I don't press in arenas. So I just have them, I can click them, basically. Now I'll show you it from my elemental point of view. Now, the first thing you might have noticed, or something that is visibly noticed, is that my thunderstorm, instead of my shaman to rage, now my thunderstorm is replaced over here. Now, this is because I've been playing a shaman well before, like well, well before uh, Ellie shamans had shaman to rage. So I, back then, like when I used to just go from enhanced to Ellie, we didn't need to have shaman to rage, so I just replaced that keyboard with thunderstorm just make my life easier and so now I'm so used to having thunderstorm on R so I could have made uh, my thunderstorm go on A and have my shaman Mystic rage still at R but I just prefer I just now I'm used to it where A is my shaman Mystic rage as Ellie shaman and R is my thunderstorm so that that you can kind of mix around if you like and so and aside from that like the key bindings on my keyboard are pretty much the exact same except for one thing that I was talking about earlier was my purge. Now I don't have focus purge uh, as uh, Ellie, and that's because see, as an enhance, when you use focus purge, um, you're actually doing more damage to your current target. But as Ellie, when you're purging, you're not really doing any other damage. So for me, I can just use targeting macros and just spam purge. Which way this will save me an extra keybind, which I needed for earthquake. So I use shift G for earthquake as an Ellie. And then I don't have Control F as uh, I don't have uh, I guess my Ghost Wolves or Spirit uh, Feral Spirits as Ellie, so I have my Control F set to Bind Elemental, just because it's easier to keep Bind than Shift Eleven, even though I should keep them the same, but I don't. And the reason now, like you notice that my Lightning Shield is not at A anymore, so my Lightning Shield is at Shift Twelve now, which I don't have an on use trinket as Ellie, so. And I mean, in most cases, I usually don't. Even if I do, it's not as big of a uh, cooldown. If I do, I would usually put it at shift 4. So, and there, there's my lightning shield at control 12. And um, I guess uh, that would be it for my keyboard keybinds. That would be different. Uh, moving on to my Razor Naga, just the numpad keybinds. My 1, I changed to Lava Burst. My 2 is now my Flame Shock. And my control 2 is my earth shock for fulmination, and then my shift 2 now is frost shock. And lightning bolt is still 3, or it's 3. My I switched up my Elish elements from 4 to 7, so my Ellie Blast is now 4. The reason I do this is because uh, these three spells are a lot more important than these spells are over here, or in terms of doing damage. So I just uh, replaced my. 7 for only element. So my Ellie Blast is now 4. Healing Surge is still 5. So is uh, Spirit Walker's Grace is still control 5. Hex is 6. So is control or uh, Focus Hex is control 6. And then my Alt 6 is my NS. Now Unleash Elements is num uh, number 7. My Fire Ellie is still control 7. And then Wind Shear is the same exact keybind. It's 8. And then control or uh, Focus Wind Shear is control 8 or shift 8. And now my lightning shield is number nine. So and my stormlash totem is uh, control nine, which and this is because I don't really have anything else to put on control nine, so I just put stormlash totem just for that added extra thing to help out my partners every now and then. And so uh, I guess the rest of them are the exact same. Symbiosis is at ten, burst is at eleven, or ascendance, and then trinket at twelve. And that's pretty much it for my key bindings. There you go. I uh, hope that helps someone out there.
see you guys later.